The 54th Regiment of Massachusetts was one of the first volunteer infantry regiments to be assembled during the Civil War. In 1989, the tale of the regiment was told in the movie, Glory. The idea for the regiment came from Massachusetts Governor John Albion Andrew. On January 26, 1863, the Secretary of War Edwin Stanton approved the creation of the regiment. Some of the most well-known people to join the regiment was Charles and Louis Douglas. Charles and Louis Douglas were sons of outspoken abolitionist Frederick Douglas, who strongly supported the war and was a consultant to President Lincoln. About one month after the creation of the regiment, more than 1,000 African Americans went to Camp Meigs to train and get ready for war. Many thought the training camp treatment was unfair because their training was postponed due to the delayed arrival of necessary supplies and their drill sergeant. Governor John A. Andrew personally selected Colonel Robert Gould Shaw, the son of a prominent Boston abolitionist family. Shaw, 25 at the time, had dropped out of Harvard to join the Union Army and until that time served as a captain in the 2nd Massachusetts. At first, Shaw had doubts about leading the regiment, fearing that they wouldn't get to participate in many battles, but he reluctantly accepted the offer. On May 28, 1863, the 54th Regiment departed from Boston with 20,000 people cheering them on. At Shaw's request, the 54th led a charge on Fort Wagner, one of the main defenses of Charleston, South Carolina. The fort had previously been attempted to be taken, but by that point the Confederate soldiers had already set up a strong defense. On July 18, 1863, the regiment led an attack on Fort Wagner with 600 of the regiment's men leading the charge. Before the battle, Shaw told his men that the eyes of thousands will look on what you do tonight. During the battle, the 54th Massachusetts charged the fort and despite suffering horrific casualties, including the death of their colonel, Robert Gould Shaw, the regiment pushed on. Although 280 of their 600 men were killed, wounded, or captured, the regiment exposed the fort and the Confederates soon abandoned it. Edward L. Pierce, an author, wrote of the regiment's effort. The 54th did well and noble. They moved up as gallantly as any troops could, and with their enthusiasm, they deserved a better fate. When Shaw was killed during the battle, the Confederate soldiers buried him with the rest of his departed regiment as a sign of disrespect. However, Shaw's father saw the action differently. We would not have his body removed from where it lies, surrounded by his brave and devoted soldiers. We can imagine no holier place than that in which he lies among his brave and devoted followers, nor wish for him better company. What a bodyguard he has. After their loss at Fort Wagner, the regiment was involved in several sieges in South Carolina, Florida, and Georgia over the next two years. In September 1865, the regiment went back to Massachusetts and was disbanded. On Memorial Day 1897, the sculptor Augustus St. Gaudens unveiled this statue in the Boston Common at the same spot the regiment left from 34 years earlier. The original intention for the statue was to remember Shaw, the regiment's fallen colonel, but Shaw's father also wanted it to memorialize the whole regiment. The statue depicts the regiment marching off to war with an angel floating above them holding an olive branch and a bouquet of poppies. St. Gaudens says of the sculpture, A sculptor's work endures for so long that it is next to a crime for him to neglect to do everything that lies in his power to execute a result that will not be a disgrace. There is something extraordinarily irritating when it is not ludicrous in a bad statue. It is plastered up before the world to stick and stick for centuries while man and nations pass away. A poor picture goes into the garret, books are forgotten, but the bronze remains to accuse or shame the populace and perpetuate one of our various idiocies. Thus the memorial of the 54th Regiment of Massachusetts was born.